Okay, so now I'm going to tie, it's a uh, squirmy jig pattern. We call it a squirminator. Works very, very well this time of year uh, if you're fishing for grain. Okay, so the hook we're using is the uh, fully milled jig force in a size 12. And then it's got a 3.8 millimeter black fully milled tungsten bead. So the trick to tying this fly, I think, is to give it a lead underbody. Uh, it makes it much, much easier to wind the, um, the squirmy body. So let's wind this on first. Okay, so that's about 10 turns, roughly. So push that up as tight as you can. There's a little tag in, just coming around there. Okay. So I'm going to tie this whole fly with a GB number 4 um, floss. So just wind over the top of this. So just make the fly nice and bright. Okay. So first things first, tying the tail. Going to be roughly right. The trick to tying this stuff in is just catch it in by the very edge and then stretch it. Okay, that's slipped slightly. Okay. Now catch in the piece for the body, again same technique. And then we just wind this up the body. Not under a huge amount of tension. And when it's there, just catch it in. Wrap that around the thread a couple of times. Catch it in again. Now we're finished. I did this twice because um, you can't put any varnish or super glue on this fly. There's the finished squirminator.